For one shining moment, Memphis was on the cusp of an upset and a spot inside the bubble. The moment lasted a mere 1.7 seconds. It wasn't enough for Houston to take Memphis' final home game or mock Lester Quinones' trademark air guitar. No, they also spoiled the Tigers' chance of an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament in heartbreaking fashion, 67-64. Definitely a tough loss. Like, this hurt bad. Down three, the ball ricocheted back to Boogie Ellis, who drained a long triple to tie the game at 64. But 1.7 seconds was all Houston needed to get a half-court bounce pass off, chuck up a Hail Mary heave, and end Memphis's prayer of getting on the right side of the bubble ahead of the conference tournament. Um, is there something different that we could have done? Yes, definitely. Probably sitting on his strong hand, sitting on the left side, don't let him get a shot up. Maybe, maybe jump in the steal, jump in the pass while it bounced, maybe, but... It's a lot going through our minds. We don't want to foul. We don't want to do all that other stuff. But, I mean, it was a miracle shot. The Tigers will be the three seed in this week's American tournament. While Penny Hardaway feels his team has already proven itself worthy of the field of 68, he acknowledged that the Tigers will have to win next week's tourney to go dancing for the first time since 2014. We're Memphis. Of course we have to win to get in. <laughs> Nobody's going to give us anything, man. We've shown that we're a tournament team. Nobody, nobody in the country comes into Houston and plays the way we just played, especially without ALO and to be in the game with a tie game with 1.7 seconds left and not be an NCAA tournament team on the road, not a neutral site. So believe me, we understand that what we have to do when we go to Dallas. The Tigers play the winner of ECU and USF Friday at 9 p.m. A win sets the table for a Memphis-Houston rematch in Saturday's semifinals. For Local 24 Sports, I'm Clayton Collier.